Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Vcam from XSplit, which basically allows you to get rid of the background of your camera. As you can see, let me add the background back. There's a background. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot of exposure because of the sunlight and stuff. But it will show you how to get rid of your background without using a green screen or blue screen or anything like that. You won't see me currently in the bottom left hand corner because, um, yeah, I can't have two applications using my camera at the same time. So that's why we're here. But I'm going to show you how to use Vcam. It is a little bit. It's a little bit rough. The the cutouts a little bit rough. As you can see, my hands getting a lot of fragmentation and stuff right about now. But if you're just sitting playing a game, it's it's more than good enough, I believe, to be honest. But if you wanted to like do a music video or something, I would use a green screen, basically. But yeah, I'm Jay Carter Ray from GrowingYouTube.com, teaching you how to be better at YouTube marketing and online business. And I've been able to create a full time income from myself, for myself, from my online endeavors. And I want to help you do the same thing. If you haven't got XSplit or Vcam yet, go to growonyoutube.com forward slash XSplit and you'll be able to grab Vcam from the XSplit site. That's that. I'm going to show you how to use this actual thing. Um, so I guess you're not going to see me on the camera for this because we've got to use the camera for this actual video. And if I am on the camera, then we can't use the camera. So let's just do this. It needs to be done, right? So let's go back to the beginning of Vcam. Like when you download it, it will give you basically... It will check your system for your hardware and check for your cameras and stuff. So we're going to go straight from the beginning and I'm going to show you exactly how you can use Vcam and use it in XSplit or whatever streaming software you're using. So let's get into it, B. So here we have our Vcam. If we actually go to calibrate, this will be the first thing that you see when you are actually, when you actually download this and start up. Um, and you know log in and all that sort of stuff so it's going to run hardware tests to check to see what cameras you actually have available on your system and then it will let you know when that's done it will tell you yes we found some cameras and then you just click that continue button as you can see it says camera detected please continue and now we can choose from a list of cameras on our computer or a list of capture devices on our computer so here we have the ava media capture device and the logitech hd pro cam and we're obviously using the logitech right about now and when you get here it will usually have your original background but even before that it will give you an opportunity to calibrate the actual um the actual camera I don't know it's it seems to have skipped past that step right about now but basically what happens is after you've confirmed that you've got a camera on your actual PC then you can select the camera the camera from this drop down menu is that going to select the Ava media or not doesn't seem like it is <laughs> and then once you select it from the drop down menu you'll have an option to calibrate this even further which i don't know why this isn't currently showing me that because it did show me that before and i don't want to go to calibrate again and then have to go through that and it doesn't actually change anything but i will try it one more time and if it doesn't then i'll just i'll just tell you exactly what they tell you to do okay so it's not giving me the option that it gave me before when i first started up which basically says you know it's going to record 15 seconds of video and in that time you need to like hold a mobile or a cup or something and stretch your arm out so that it can see you know you moving around basically so that it can kind of see where you are as a person so it can cut out around you so that's what you'll do for the next step you'll move around your phone in your hand and do all this sort of bs and then what you can do is you can actually look through these different settings if you click on this cogwheel here on the filter and then you can actually change it to remove your chair or not remove your chair you can change the quality controls to high or automatic or whatever you want it to be you can change the hardware acceleration to whatever it needs to be 
and you can do all that sort of stuff over there right about now as you can see my camera is very very washed out so i'm gonna go to my logitech settings by clicking over here and i'm actually gonna turn my exposure down to over there and i'll turn the gain down a little bit as well there we go so we're basically done here we're basically done we've got our camera up and running we've got our background removed if we go back to the original background this is what it looks like this is not a white background just so you know this is all blue but because the exposure's up so high because <laughs> i don't know it's just it just looks the camera just looks terrible sometimes it was trying to get it super dark and making everything look blue so i'd turn the exposure and all that sort of stuff up high but you can also just blur out the background if that's what you want to do which actually doesn't look too bad if we like bring it to like 50 yeah this is it's less intrusive to blur out the background but when you're moving around it still does look weird but if you're just sitting still and you're maybe talking to the camera and that's all you're really doing then i don't think all these fragments and fragmentation and stuff will be an issue like if you're just sitting still yeah, it's pretty much cool that like, no one's going to be like, oh, you know, you're, go get a green screen, cuz. I think this will do the job, basically. But when you're ready, get a green screen. And <laughs> when you've got the money to get a green screen, get a green screen. So I'm going to open up XSplit and show you how this works in XSplit and how to use it in XSplit. You basically just use the XSplit VCAM as the source. So let me bring that up and show you exactly how to do that. And the reason why my camera is not coming up right about now is because I started XSplit and XSplit took control of my camera. So now when I'm trying to use VCam, it can't take control of the camera. So what you need to do is you need to keep VCam up. Do not close it like I just did and then bring up XSplit. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get all this stuff working. Okay, finally, 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 we are back up running and we actually see how xsplit vcam looks in the xsplit launcher so as i said before you need to actually make sure that you still have this up when you're launching xsplit otherwise what xsplit will do is it will take control of your camera and then you won't be able to use the xsplit vcam as a source to add it as a source as you saw me do before you just want to click down here go to add as a source go to devices go to video and then you'll see the xsplit vcam and then as you can see i can put seven of me here if we really wanted to and it could look really really weird really really quickly there we go <laughs> look at me just free of me that is silly that is hella silly to do like a i could do one of them you know them acapella things when people have like seven of them there I could do something like that but basically let's let's come back over to uh this scene and let's make this xsplit cam a little bit smaller because this is what it generally would be it would be smaller than this uh let's move that right back where it was which is not going right back where it was which is unfortunate but we'll make that smaller and then let's look at how it looks it, it looks it looks fine to be honest like obviously there's a bit of artifact artifacting artifact i don't know if that's actually a word there's a little bit of artifacts in the background and stuff like that but if you've got a game in the background right about now and there's a lot of stuff going on and you're just playing it would need to flip this because i'm actually look it shows me looking at the wrong side but yeah it looks pretty good it looks pretty nice definitely way better than just not having a green screen and not using something like this so i i would suggest this but if you want a clean clean um cut so that it only you only see you know you and nothing around you then you need to buy a green screen you need to step up the cash and even then you'll need good lighting because if your green screen has uneven lighting you will get artifacts like you're seeing in this so this is pretty much you know just great stuff to be honest now we could turn up the actual exposure so you can see me a little bit better which you need to get rid of you know all this auto stuff bring that up a little bit so that I actually look like a person not just darkness so there we go so this looks way better and i actually like it i think i'm gonna i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna try it out soonish and see what happens although now i've got like 
my place is blue i can just key out the blue to be honest but i hope this video helped you out if you haven't done so already go and get xsplit from growonyoutube.com forward slash xsplit you can get vcam from there as well it helps out the channel when you go through that link i get a small small commission on that and question of the day is where do you stream the most do you stream the most on twitch or on youtube let me know there's a free course over there if you want to grab that to you know grow your youtube channel and create a successful youtube channel if that's something you want to do i don't really know much about twitch but i am looking to link up with some people that do to hopefully bring you some helpful content that will help you in that regard so stick around for that but in the next video you're going to learn more about youtube marketing and online business so peace out and stay tuned